In today's video, I want to show you how to make these adorable beaded barefoot sandals. You're going to need some fingering weight yarn. This is Be So Fine, my 100% bamboo hand dyed yarn. I'm using colorway Sunkist yellow. You're going to need a 2.75 millimeter crochet hook. You're going to need a beading needle. I'm using a dental flosser just to show you that even if you don't have a beading needle, you can find this in most uh, drugstore's uh, dental department. And then I'm going to be using four millimeter crystal beads. So let's get started. First you want to thread your beads onto your yarn. And so if you have a wide eye beading needle at home, that would be great. You'll need it to have a wide eye because in order to be thin enough to be a beading needle and wide enough in this area here for yarn, it's kind of a contrast. Either uh, needles are really thin for beading or they have a very big hole for yarn, so you want to make sure you find something with that combination. So a wide eye beading needle would work very well. Otherwise, these little dental flossers are really handy in a pinch. And I'm going to pick up my bead and just slide it through the needle and onto my yarn. when beading with crochet and with knitting, so basically beading with yarn, you want to make sure that you add your beads first before you begin your project. And then you'll just slide them along as you go. I think the hardest part of the whole project is just seeing the hole in the beads. <laughs> I could definitely use glasses for this. Okay, we've got our 12 beads strung onto the yarn, and now I'm going to tie the yarn onto my crochet hook. If you prefer a slip knot, you can. I prefer a solid knot. And we're going to chain six, which counts as our first double treble and a chain one. And what I want you to do is to place your bead at the second and fourth chains as we're going. So it's going to be chain one, bead chain two, chain three, bead chain four, chain five, and chain six. We're going to double treble in the sixth chain from your hook, placing the bead at the first pull through two and third pull through two. So we're going to yarn over three times, insert your hook, pull up a loop. Now we're going to slide our bead up as we do our first pull through two, then our, we're going to do our second pull through two, and then we're going to slide the bead for our third pull through two, and then do our fourth. Okay, so now we've got our bead in two positions, and now we're going to chain five, Put this down so you can see what we've got here. We've got our chain six that counted as our first double treble and our second double treble, both with beads in two positions. And then it shows on the other side of the work, that side. And then we did a chain five. Now we're going to work two more double trebles into that very same first chain with the two positions of beads at the same time. So yarn over three times, insert your hook in the same chain, yarn over, pull up a loop. We're going to yarn over and pull through two with a bead on the first one. Yarn over, pull through two regular on the second one. Slide a bead up for the third pull through two. And then yarn over, pull through two for a fourth one without the bead. So we'll do that again. Yarn over three times. Insert your hook in the chain. Yarn over, pull up a loop. We're going to slide a bead up for our first yarn over, pull through two. Then we'll do a regular yarn over, pull through two. Slide a bead up for the third one, and yarn over, pull through two for the fourth one. I'll turn that over so you can see it on the beading side. So now we have two double trebles, chain five, and two double trebles, each with two beads. So now we will chain five again.
and we'll do two more. Yarn over three times, insert your hook in the same hole or chain, yarn over, pull up a loop. We'll slide the bead up for our first yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two, regular for the second, with a bead for the third, and without a bead for the fourth. So yarn over three times, insert your hook in the same chain, yarn over, pull up a loop. We're going to yarn over, pull through two with a bead for the first one, without a bead for the second one, with a bead for the third one, and without a bead for the fourth one. And set that down so you can see it again. Okay, we're going to chain five and slip stitch to join at the beginning of the round into the top of the chain six. And then I'll set it down so you can see what our first round looks like. And all of the beading is done at this point too, by the way. There we go. First round is done. Okay, round two begins with a slip stitch in between the first and second stitch. We're going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet, and work three more double crochets in that same space. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Do that two more times in the same space. Okay, now in the next chain five space, we're going to work six double crochets. Round three begins with a chain six, which counts as a double crochet and a chain three. And we're going to double crochet in the same stitch. Then we're going to chain three, skip three stitches, and single crochet in the space before the next stitch. Chain three, skip three stitches, single crochet in the space before the next stitch chain three, skip three stitches, single crochet in the space before the next stitch, chain three, and now we're going to skip three stitches and double crochet in the next double crochet, chain three, double crochet in the same stitch, chain three, single, uh, skip three stitches and single crochet in the space before the next stitch, chain three, skip three stitches and single crochet in the space before the next stitch, chain three, single crochet in the space after three stitches but before the next, chain three, skip three stitches and in the next double crochet we're going to work a double crochet, chain three, and a double crochet, chain three, skip three stitches, single crochet in this next in the space before the next one, chain three, single crochet in the space after three stitches, chain three, skip three stitches, and single crochet in the space before the next, chain three, and then we're going to slip stitch to the top of the third chain of the beginning chain, the beginning of the round to join. And now that's what this round looks like. When it's in the space between the next two double crochets, we're going to work four double crochets. Sorry, this is seven. Okay, and then the next chain five space will work six double crochets. Then the next space between the two double trebles, we're going to work seven double crochets. In the next chain five space, we're going to work six double crochets. Okay, 
Okay, and then in that space between the first and the second double crochet, or treble, double trebles where we did our chain three and three doubles, we're going to work three more doubles on this side of the same space so that when we join our round by slip stitching to the top of the chain three at the beginning of the round, we end up being in the center of our seven double crochets in that section. So now I'll set it down so you can see what the end of round two looks like. Right, round three begins with a chain six that counts as a double crochet in a chain three. And we're going to double crochet in the very same stitch. And that's our first corner. We're now going to chain three, skip three stitches, and slips, I'm sorry, single crochet in the space before the next stitch. Chain three, skip three stitches, and single crochet in the space before the next stitch. Chain three, skip three stitches and single crochet in the space before the next, chain three, and now we're about to do our next corner. So we're going to skip three stitches and in the fourth double crochet of the four, seven double crochet corner, we're going to work a double crochet, chain three, and double crochet. And then we'll chain three, skip three stitches and single crochet in the space before the next stitch, chain three, single crochet in the space after three stitches, and you want to repeat that along to the next corner. Then in the next corner, which is the fourth double crochet of the seven, we're going to work a double crochet, chain three, and double crochet in the same stitch. Then chain three, skip three stitches and single crochet in the space before the next, chain three, skip three, single crochet in the space before the next. You want to repeat that all the way around. And then we'll slip stitch to the top of the third chain of the beginning chain to join our round. Okay, round four begins with a chain three which counts as our first double crochet, and we're going to work six additional double crochets in that first chain three space. Okay, and then in each of the chain three spaces across to the cor next corner, we're going to work three double crochets. Three double crochets in each chain three space across to the next corner. And then in the corner, we'll work seven double crochets. I'm going to set that down so you can see what we're doing. In each of the corners where there was a double crochet, chain three, double crochet, we're putting seven double crochets in each of those chain three spaces. And all the rest of the chain three spaces, we're doing three double crochets. So go ahead and finish this round, and then I'll show you how to do the next one. Round five has worked exactly like round three. Every corner, well, we're going to start with a chain six which counts as our double crochet chain three and then double crochet in the same stitch. And that gives us a double crochet, three, three chains and double crochet for the corner. Then all the sides are going to be exactly the same. Chain three, skip three stitches and single crochet in the space before the next stitch. And every corner is going to be double crochet, chain three, double crochet, just like in that other round two rounds ago, round three. So let's work across to our first corner so I can show you what I mean. We're going to chain three, skip three stitches, and then the fourth or the fourth double crochet or center double crochet of the chain seven, seven double crochet corner, we're going to work a double crochet, chain three, and double crochet in the same stitch. And you just want to repeat this all the way around. Okay, now at the end of the round, just like in the previous round like this, we're going to uh, chain three, skip 
the first two of the beginning chain and slip stitch in the third chain of that beginning chain six to count that counted as our double crochet. Okay, we're adding a new stitch in this round, but we're going to start with a slip stitch into the chain three space corner, chain three, which counts as our first double crochet. We're going to work two more double crochets in the same chain three space. And then we're going to work a pika, chain three, and slip stitch into the third chain from your hook. And then we'll do three more double crochets in the same space. I'm going to set that down so you can see what it looks like. See, it gives you like a little polka dot in between your sections. And I'll show you on the finished one how pretty that will look when we have them done all the way along. Okay, so now we're going to do everything basically the same as the previous rounds of double crochet, except we're going to put a chain three pico between each section of three double crochets. So we finished our corner, we did a pico, we're going to work three double crochets into the next chain three space on the side, and then we're going to work a pico. So now instead of just doing three double crochets in each chain three space along the side, we're going to do three double crochets and a pico. And then when we get to the corner, I'll show you how we do that instead of doing seven. Okay, we're now at our second corner, and this is where we're going to add our toe ring on this one. So instead of doing three doubles and a pico and three doubles, we're going to do three double crochets in the corner chain three space, and then we're going to work chain 20. And then we're going to work three double crochets in the same space. When I'm working double crochets after a long chain, I like to hook that long chain space with my ring finger on my right hand. It helps to keep tension on my work so that I can keep going smoothly. So then we'll chain three pico again and continue on the next side. And I'll set our work down again so you can see what we're doing. So our first corner was three double crochet, pico, three double crochet. Then along the side was pico, three double crochet, pico, three double, pico, three double. The second corner is three doubles, chain 20, three doubles. And then the, along the side here will match this one. Then this corner will be three doubles, a pico, and three doubles. And then this side will be the same as the others. And then we'll finish it up. We're at the la end of the last round now. I've done my last pico, so we're going to slip stitch to the top of the chain three at the beginning of the round to join. And then I want to slip stitch across and into the pico. Okay, so then we're going to chain 120, fasten off, and we're going to tie a little knot in the end. It's a great spot for weaving in our loose ends as well as giving a little weight to the ties. Helps them dangle a little nicer. Then you're going to come over to the opposite pico corner, slip stitch to join, and chain 120 and fasten off the exact same way on that side. And then you do the entire thing two times and you'll have a pair of adorable barefoot sandals.